Hello and welcome to Five Writers, Five Minutes podcast, where five writers talk writing craft. This week we are talking about writing stuff that matters. So writing about things and topics that are important to you. And I guess some of the questions I have is, which of the writers here do that like deliberately? And how do you figure out what matters to you? Sadie? Well, this is a very uh, big topic dear to my heart, particularly, um, because I was always scuffling around the edges writing stuff that didn't matter to me, (laughs) writing stuff that was kind of an idea I thought was good or funny or could be entertaining for kids. I was like, oh, that's a wacky idea. Maybe I'll do that. So I'd written a whole bunch of stuff, but it wasn't until I wrote something that matters to me, which is Queenie and then Cora, uh, that suddenly my writing found a home. I was like, oh, Oh, it's kind of like all the pieces falling together and just making a perfect image suddenly. It made so much sense to me and I couldn't believe I'd wasted all that time writing stuff that didn't matter to me. (laughs) So my question always when I come to any story is what does this matter to me? And it's not a selfish question. Um, it's, it's kind of like you need to care about this topic and you need to care about these characters and these themes for you to invest the time you need to invest to write something worthwhile and it gives it a certain truth and authenticity so yeah queenie and seven moves was literally taken out of my life (laughs) um almost you know it's it's like a time stamp of my life in that month that queenie is set uh and the more i lean into me and real stuff the better the writing is for sure leah Ah, yeah, look, I agree with what Zanny said. And for me, it starts with the theme of the story. So the theme has to be something that I believe. So I might be writing a story about dragons and horned globs, but underneath the adventure and the magic, it's actually a story about the importance of friendship and learning to be brave and how greed can make people do terrible things. So I have found that I have to be really honest with myself when I'm writing a story because I want the values in that story to be values that matter to me. Mm. And I first came up against this when I was writing Museum of Thieves because I created this amazing museum where the rooms moved, changed places and moved around and only a thief could find their way through the museum. And I was on about the 19th draft when I suddenly thought, hang on, am am I saying that stealing is okay? Is, Is that what I believe? And it wasn't. So... I had to go back and I gave one of the characters a speech along some that went something along the lines of I, I don't want to glorify theft. Um, you know, there are people who think that they deserve more than other people and 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 that's a betrayal of yourself. And then I went on to say something like, um, but there are some things you should steal. You you must steal freedom from the hands of the tyrant and and stuff like that. And it was it ended up being a part of the book that I absolutely loved and and it ended up being what I believed and what mattered to me. Mm, thank you. Deb, how about you? Oh, I think I can't write anything, even a light little story, unless there's something in it that really matters to me. My very first series, the Max Remy series about two young kid spies, there are, you know, yes, there's spies and gadgets and stuff, but there are, you know, kids who, um, one kid has a mum who died sort of before the story just began and one kid has a mum who barely pays her any attention and so there's always an undercurrent of things to me that really really matter and uh, for the kindness project it's uh, in fact it started with a a wacky scene of a kid kidnapping their grandma but then I realized actually what what do I want to write about what is the story really about and it is about friendship and bravery but a whole bunch of other stuff that you don't often see in stories like mental illness in families and how do you deal with that and how it affects kids in the family? And so um, I always have to put stuff that matters. And one tip that I've got, because I've just started a brand new novel, and I one tip I've got for anyone who is starting a brand new story, just write a whole big list of things that matter to you, even in a super, super fun way. I love go-karting. I don't know, whatever that matters, right? Write a whole big list of stuff that gets you excited, but make sure you do include stuff that's important to you. Like Leon just talked about thieving and theft and fighting for freedom and stuff, whatever. And then from that big list, just 25 things on that list, pick like your top five. And then a story can come from that, which is kind of how the story that I'm writing right now actually developed and then my my job as an author is to hopefully add lots of action and adventure and characters to really make an exciting story 
And you can really see that in your writing, Deb, um, because when you talk about gauges and, uh, and, and like inventions and all these crazy, you can really sense just on the page even, you can sense how much you love that stuff. Mm. And I think that's important, right? Like mm. I think the, I, a bit like Danny, um, I sort of started out, I think I was a bit scared to write stuff that was too personal to me. So I sort of kept my writing at arm's length. It was only when I started writing uh, my book, Two Wolves, that I started to really kind of let things that maybe I wouldn't usually say or let onto the page, you know, when you when you let the reader in on your secret heart or something um, uh, that you that you start to become vulnerable on the page. And I think that um, really sort of endears the story to readers. Um, I think the danger of writing books for kids is that you can get in that headspace of, oh, what would a kid think was important or what would a kid care about or something? But you, you are the kid, you know what I mean? Even if you're an adult, I mean, a lot of us who are, who are kids authors, we really are in touch with that 12-year-old or 8-year-old or 16-year-old version of ourselves and we can just get settled down into that space. So I think, um, I think not setting out to write, I'm going to write a story to teach kids about X. Um, you know, that is the, the thing that you have to be most concerned about. Like Leon said, that thing of writing the story, getting it down on the page, rereading it, and then starting to tease out, oh, this theme seems to be in there. I seem to be writing about this. This is what's bubbled up in me, and I'm going to strengthen that, that idea now. Um, that's how I approach it anyway. Mm. Um, yeah. Thanks, guys. I, I tend to use free writing a lot, as you know, in my first draft, and I think it's a really fun way to explore ideas. And when I'm free writing, I find the same ideas popping up again and again uh, yeah. in my free writes. And that's like a little message from my, you know, imagination and my creativity to say, hey, this is something that matters to you. And another thing I do, a bit like Deb's list, and I do this exercise when I teach writing too, is I say, and, and I borrowed this from um, someone else's book called The Writer's Portable Mentor, where you write down a hundred questions of things, questions that you have. And they can be really simple questions like, I wonder what's for dinner, but it also can be, what's the world going to be like in 20 years? You know, sort of from the small to the big, but you just write down a hundred of them and then you pair it back to your top five. And then the idea is if your story that you're writing is not exploring at least one of those questions, why not? Why yeah. is it not exploring something that matters to you? And I think the idea of a question is quite a good one for a story. And like with the story I'm writing at the minute that's, you know, going to be out in 2025, it's kind of like, is it ever okay to break the law? That's one of the questions that it's exploring, which I think is a really interesting question and kind of harks a bit back to Leon's Uh but I know that if something niggles at me, if I think about it a lot or I think about it when I wake up in the middle of the night, that's something that matters to me and I can give that to a character, that 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 curiosity, that niggle, that worry, and then the story is going to have some um, oomph and very often if it matters to me, it's going to matter to some readers out there and even if it doesn't matter to some readers, they're going to feel like the characters, you know, got got some sort of investment and passion and that's always good. Thanks, everyone. We encourage you to explore, you know, what matters to you and to play around with that in your or writing. We are a podcast. We are a YouTube channel. And we look forward to seeing you soon. Bye. 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 Bye.